welcome back people we got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today so today I am fishing here in Everglades in Florida I'm fishing here because there is quite a lot of low levels who are playing this game and they keep on asking me how how and where to catch certain fish a lot of people have been asking for this one so I thought I'd make a video of it and get it uploaded for you guys so we are catching some red drum the red drum only go to trophy in this place I'm pretty sure in some places you can catch unique but in this one it is only trophy common and trophy so I'm going to show you my rod setup you don't have to have exactly the same as me but I'm just showing you what I'm using I'm using a lower end rod which is the big ally and then I'm using um, I'm using this real Hornet Swamp 4000 66 pound line. That's uh, probably a little bit overkill. You could probably do this with around about 40 pound line. The same goes with the leader, 70 pound leader, probably a bit overkill, but I'm going to be using that anyway. But you could get away with around about anything, probably lowest around about 30 pound leader, 25 pound leader, and same goes with the line, maybe about 20, 25 pound line lowest. Um, just don't max out your reel, don't max the drag. And then I'm using this here, the Cazador. That's the best rod on the game. You probably ain't going to really need to use that one, to be honest. I'm just using this just because that is what I have to hand. So I'm going to be using medium cut bait, some shiners, medium cut bait, and more shiners. I'm also going to be using a float rod throughout this as well. I'm using the best float rod on the game. Again, you don't necessarily have to use the same float rod as what I'm using. I'm just going to be using it just because that is what I have to hand. So casting out here, let's cast out. I'm going to show you whereabouts we're casting to. I want it around about 90 to 95 feet, as you can see just there. That's where I've got it set. So I'm going to put that first rod down. So I'm going to be using a float rod and bottom rod. So you can catch this drum on either, either the float rod or the bottom rod, both of them are going to work. And then using the big ally, the big ally is the main one that I want to catch on, just because um, by me using this one, I'm pretty sure this is what rod you're going to be using. You could also use a bottom sniper rod, that would work pretty good as well. Now, sometimes with, when you're catching these, sometimes you can catch them pretty quick, other times it can take a short minute. So. I'm using a hash 4 slash 0 hook or 4 arc hook as some people say. <clears throat> there is a chance we could get the odd bass because I'm going to be using shiners. I'm also going to use this rod here as well, heavy chaser. Again, it's probably a little bit overkill. You don't really need something that powerful. But that is just what I'm going to be using just for this video. So let's get set back up. Let's cast this one out. I want different rods out there. So heavy chaser. Um, the big ally I'm going to keep on the right hand side so I know. Uh, and then on this side, obviously far left, we've got the float rod. Doesn't have to be the same float rod spell launcher. Doesn't have to be the, that rod specifically. I'm guessing if you're fishing in this place, you're probably not going to have that, that rod anyway. Unless you're just dropping back here just because you feel like fishing here. But anyway, let's get these rods out there. I'm going to get them all set up. So we're early morning. We're at 5.13 a.m. You could probably catch these a little bit later on in the day, in the evening as well. But I'm just doing, I'm just starting from the time that we started from, which obviously you always start from 5 a.m. every morning. Anytime I do live streams, I always use face cam and mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just use the mic. I randomly hit record. These always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. Anytime there's updates on Fishing Planet, I download, install, I set up a live stream. I always buy the DLCs, show you new rods, reels, boat, tackle, new lakes, and show you how and where to catch n new unique fish. So that's a good reason to subscribe, and we got it on the rod first that I wanted it to be on, which is the big ally. So as you can see, I've maxing, max drag this one, and we're not putting any damage on there. That's because I've got the right reel. Um, with the right rod if you combined the right reel with the right rod and then you are able to um, you're able to use max drag now, I've got another fish on the other rod I'm gonna quickly get that one just because that one's gonna be quicker to reel in let's quickly do that one go over here just so it's not too loud I quickly reel this one in and then I go back for that one so here we have our first red drum there we go, 15 and a half pound, not too bad. 
Now, if you're at low level and you're catching these fish, you are going to need a little bit of a decent rod. So either the big ally or the bottom bottom sniper rod is going to be your best bet for catching these fish. As you saw there with that other rod, I reeled in very, very easy. Whereas if this one is taking a short minute because the rod isn't as good. So let me grab this one. This is on the better float rod. So this one should be easy to reel in. It's a pretty quick place, I'm going to be honest, it is pretty quick. I'm going to make a few other videos in this place in Everglades, um, catching some other types of fish as well, not just not just the red drum. But there you go, trophy red drum, 35 pounds. Not too bad, that's pretty good. To me, these fish are quite small because I've caught fish at like 200 pounds. So <laughs> for me, they are quite small. But if you're new to the game and you're in here and you're fishing... And then, yeah, you know, these fish are a good way to get started. If you haven't got a rod, like a big ally or a bottom sniper rod, if you haven't got a good rod, and then I'd probably recommend catching largemouth bass. They're a lot smaller, or even butterfly peacock bass. They're a lot smaller than what these are, and they do go into unique as well. So, yeah, unique is um, going to give you that little bit more XP, that little bit more cash. But I'm going to make a separate video on how to catch those unique largemouth bass. Maybe another video for the butterfly peacock bass. We'll see in time if I can try and get those uploaded for you guys. But medium cut bait and the shiners, both of them work quite well for these red drums. So the medium cut bait's quite a cheap bait to buy. The shiners are pretty cheap to buy as well. A, a big tip as well to mention for all those new players, most of you know this, but there's still a few out there that don't. Always try and use barbless hooks. Now I'm using an X series hook hash four. It doesn't have to be X series. As long as you're using a hash four, and then that hook will be fine. But I do recommend using barbless hooks. Even if you do or don't have premium, it doesn't matter. If you use barbless hooks, you get an extra 10% XP, which is obviously going to help you level up that little bit quicker. I actually made a video on tips on how to get started on this game as well, so you can always check that out. We've done every single mission across Fish and Planet on all the lakes as well, so if there's a mission that you're trying to do, look across the channel and I'm pretty sure you're going to find it there. This one's really given me a good run, and that is because it is the big ally rod. It's nowhere near as good rod as the other rods. This is definitely a low-end rod. Well, I say nowhere near as good. It is a good rod, but it's got a lot of bend to it. It's a it's a three-piece setup rod, so for that fact, it's going to take a lot longer to reel in, as you can see. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be trophy. Or at least it might be. <laughs> it's hard to tell with these rods because these rods are quite small rods. Yeah, okay, so it's a trophy. Not too bad. 36 pound. There we go. I'm going to set a marker for that. Not that I really need to because I know where they are. I've been in here and fished here many, many times. But if you pull out your tablet, you can press X and set a marker for that last fish you caught, which shows you just there. And then whenever you next come into this place... If you want to catch that fish again, you've actually got a marker set out just there, as you can see. So I'm going to cast to it and then zoom in. You'll be able to see it a little bit better. Oh, there we go. And let's zoom in real quick. So there, just where the tip of my rod is, this is a really good hot spot for catching drum. Now, when you're catching certain fish, sometimes you've got to fish in certain places to catch those. You can't just, well, you can just cast anywhere, but by casting anywhere, it's going to take you a long time to catch that fish. So, <clears throat> definitely recommend for you guys to um, to find those hot spots. And this is definitely a hot spot for Red Drum. So, I'm going to cast this one out. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting for too long. I'm going to catch a couple more. Um, I'll add a couple of video clips onto the end of this clip of me catching some more drum. So I'll bring you guys back when we get another fish on. And we got another fish on. This one looks like it's definitely trophy. So I changed to a sunny day rather than a sunny cloudy day just to show you that you can catch them on a sunny day. I've already had a couple but they weren't that big. So this one looks like it's bigger. Definitely trophy. There we go. Trophy red drum. Nice. Awesome. 
so I'm going to have a quick look as well, see if I can get just a cloudy day, because I've caught it on a sunny and cloudy day, and just a sunny day, no, it's all sunny and cloudy, that's alright, not to worry, I'm going to catch one or two more, and then um, we'll end the video there, so I'm going to cast back out again to 95 feet, there we have it, all right, I'll bring you guys back when we get another one on. And I got another fish on. Oh, wow. I'm showing you the other real mechanics as well, as you can see there on the far right. That's the different real mechanics you can have. Now, personally, myself, I'd prefer the other way, but I thought I'd just show you this way as well. Just because I might as well. Just because there is different there is different types of real mechanics. Personally, myself, I don't really like it this way. I prefer it with the free bars there on the side. By having those free bars, you can kind of adjust your equipment a little bit more to your to match the rod and the reel on the line, that kind of stuff. But that's just another reel setting you can have as well, just to mention. There we go. There's another red drum. 19 pounds. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to show you in the settings real quick. So if we come over here to the settings. And, um, gosh, i gotta, I got to remember where I did it now. <laughs> uh, game units Imperial okay so this here is how you change it from um, I got mine in feet and in pounds but if you want it in kilograms and cast in meters and then you can change that there to metric but I prefer in pounds and then obviously there from simple to pro I prefer it to be in pro but as I said just for that fish I just wanted to quickly show you that you are, you can change it so you can have just the one bar. Now you can see on the right there, I got three bars there. All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy this one, catching some red drum. Unfortunately, we can we can't get unique just because there isn't unique in here in Florida in Everglades. But I'm gonna make a video on some bass as well in this place. We're gonna catch some unique largemouth bass, maybe some peacock bass and some other fish in here. And then I'm going to make a few other videos of other lakes just to try and help you guys out. But we've done all the missions as well. So check out all the missions all across Fishing Planet. We've got all of those on our channel. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss when new updates for this game come out. Keep an eye out for when I live stream. I use face cam and mic. Don't forget to drop a like. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.